Um, what up, Solar Renekton only here back to win some more League of Legends action. Playing some set. Look at the skin, looks pretty dope. Uh plan here is to go for the mathematically correct set build. Uh I think the lore here is there's a guy who messages Ross Boomsox with like mathematically correct builds, and this one's gonna be like a max HP build around your W and getting the uh, true damage proc to be as high as possible. So I'll show you. It's gonna be Gore Trinker, Sterix, Titanic, BC, and Warmogs. So a mixture of like attack damage plus health on most of these items. So our W shield will grow larger because it's based on a percentage of our HP. So the more HP we have, the larger it'll be. That skin looks dope. I can't wait to play with it. Damn, dude, that skin looks so good. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> I'm more interested in his skin. <laughs> But yeah, gonna be e, e first, W second, Q third, and then we're gonna max W first with this build. As opposed to normally maxing Q first with your regular build. But yeah, your W should get to like some crazy number. My guess is somewhere in the 2000 range, low 2000 range. Cause I can get to about like, I don't know. I remember playing set like a week ago or two ago. We got to like, I don't know, 1200 true damage with our W. Ooh. Man, that stun lasted forever. Crocodile OP. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, he's okay, but I think he's a little underwhelming at the moment. Renekton, that is. Yeah. Beautiful. I want to time that. So we get the, uh, well, we don't want to get the shield eaten, but... I do want to be able to hit it. And the easiest way to hit it is when he's trying to stun me. He's really low. Ooh. I'm fine with that. Graves is here as so we just walk away. Ooh. Should be fine. Could reset and just TP back. I think I can stay though. And that was so weird. <laughs> All right, that was so weird. What a TP back! <laughs> oh my god! First game of the day, my brain too slow. It was like, I don't know. <laughs> he did it so weird. He was out of my flash range. That's why I wasn't like that afraid. He had to like flash and then move forward and then stun me. So I, I easily had enough time to press W or E or something. Actually, if I pressed W, I would have just gotten the shield. I think he had empowered. So he would have just broken the shield immediately. So actually, wouldn't have done anything. Hmm. Yeah, I was definitely way too overconfident, huh? I should have just backed and teleported. Imagine dying to the champion I fucking main because I don't know the limit. <laughs> well, that's more I was overestimating my limits on this champion, not necessarily underestimating Renekton's limits. I think I'm in a pretty good spot, though. I know I just died, but I'm not really too concerned. Slow push this wave in. Ow. Come on now. Oh yeah, should do a quick little TLDR on this champion. Uh, Q, basically, well, I'll explain your passive first. Passive is like a one-two punch. So you do like two hit, uh, relatively fast hits in a row, and then there's a pause in between. And the second hit does more damage than the first. So like one, two, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, that's how it works. Man. Need to get the uh, E grab on him. I'm gonna reset here. He can't stay any longer. He is going for some damages. Kind of annoying because I need to buy CDR boots. But they're definitely not gonna be as effective as Tabby would be. Oh, 
good. Ooh, nice. Oh. Okay. I think he gets executed. Oh, no, no, he got hit. Never mind. All right, cool. This wave shelf isn't to me. I do have to be a little afraid that Graves is topside. Because if he was bot side, he'd probably be helping. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh my god. The slap, bro. I just want to pull this way back. Like this. Sweet. Should be good. There we go. He's got it back. He didn't have TP, right? He already used it. So I have a decent freeze opportunity. Get a little bit more CS lead. I'm only up by two right now. It's more because I died. Lost like 10 or so for that. Like I said, should be good to recover here. He will be ahead in terms of bias like the entire time though. Uh, I bet me and Jungle Kids had a gank up. Ooh. Uh, we just gotta make sure we wait this long. As long as I have my E up, we're fine. Chilling, being patient. He immediately knows with no vision up here. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Fine with that trade. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, they didn't get him anymore. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, that's why, yeah. I'm fucking lagging. I'm dropping all my frames right now on stream. <laughs> Alright, that's not good. I was wondering why my clicks were so off. That E was so bad. And then the flash after. Like, I flashed during my W, but yeah, whatever. You guys aren't going to believe me because my MS doesn't spike. <laughs> Stream knows. Yeah, they're all typing lag. Okay, good. I'm not going crazy. Yeah, that E was like so delayed. And then the flash, I flashed during my W and it went off way after. You can flash during your W to reposition it. Just like uh, Mordecai's or Q or something, right? Oh my god. That was so bad. It's my brother texting me. He has a bunch of AMC shares. <laughs> He's very excited. All right, let's get back to base here. Sweet. Grab this. God, that was awkward. Honestly, that should have been a free kill. Renekton was super overextended right here. And then my jungle was like all the way back here. And then I missed the E. And then I wanted to ult him when he was this side of me. And it still got delayed, and then it ulted him into this wall, and I want to flash behind him in W. And it input insanely late. I don't know what's been up. It's like the first 30 minutes of stream the last four days have been pretty laggy. And then it gets better, and then it's done. There's no more drop frames. Strange. Ooh. Bro, the Q on that skin looks so good. Oh my god. Nice little trade. Ooh, hit him with it. I should have obviously done that during the fight. Ooh. Ooh. Stop, please. Thank you. I do want to just kill the cannon immediately. Awesome. Plenty of other minions there already. Oh damn. Can I hold this? Bro, this guy knows always where people are. It's real weird. <laughs> oh shit. I have to buy time here. That's the move for sure. Oh, Graves. Kite away. I don't have anything left. 
Actually, I did. This. Nice. We'll take that. Too bad the W did not land. They were able to get out before. Uh, I'm thinking about TPing, but I'm also not sure that I do enough. Because I don't have ult anymore. Oh, nice. Let me get towers here. Set is ridiculous at towers. Oh my god. Two plates already, bro. I'm getting three for sure. Uh-oh. Uh. Meanwhile, I'm top lane. I'm getting four plates, no way. <laughs> I got so much gold. <laughs> Lol. Genius. Wow. Let's go, baby. We do damage, son. We do damage. All right, let's grab this, this, this. Go. Easy. <laughs> this is why I don't play Renekton, bro. <laughs> Jim fucking sucks. <laughs> I get people in the stream all the time. Dude, why are you spamming Darius or Lowey? Not that Lowey's that great. Darius is very strong, though. Why are you spamming Darius? Because we're acting doo doo, man. Are you kidding me? I had 2,000 gold in my fucking inventory. This man just went back, spent all of his gold. I had like 10 HP before the start of that fight with no ultimate. Like, what? Why do I get to win that? That's nonsense. <laughs> Renekton just feels so underwhelming. He can pop off and do stuff, but goddamn, man. Very underwhelming champ. You should be a lot more powerful in the early game. I think they kind of messed up because they made him a little too decent in the late game with the like the Gore Trinker shield builds. Asterix. Because like that combo is crazy OP. Uh, but then they like nerfed him a bunch. And those nerfs were targeted more at late game. So, you know, they weren't bad. But they also did hurt early game. And then it got to a point where you can't really fight anybody else. If you can't win like early lane anymore, what's the point of playing Renekton? Because the whole premise is like you dominate lane so that your mid to late game is really strong. And it's strong because you're ahead. It's not strong because it's, you know, actually strong. Very strange. Come here. All right. Oh, baby. Yeah, that might be coming top. I'm sitting back a little bit. Hello, Blitzcrank. Oh, baby. The crew. What it do, what it do. One more minion, I get level 11. This guy is really weak. It's like half HP right now. Anytime I use this Fury like that, I should be a lot more comfortable. I'm trying to deny this. Yeah. Buh, sir? This is a Wendy's? What's going on over there? Now he knows I'm moving. Maybe that works. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, I have this. I keep forgetting I have this item, bro. <laughs> I normally play Stride Breaker on this champion for the dash. Dash into Epil. I'm a big fan of that. Well, that's why I like Darius. Dash into Epil. Stride Breaker dash, that is. If he comes top, we win this super easy. Because this guy doesn't have ultimate. Oh, nice. Should be all right. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't do that right. I thought he still had aggro as I was running in. Realized I was too deep. 
A little too late. Uh oh. Yeah. Pain. Too deep, a little too late. Alright. Over here. Sterix, Titanic next. Do you want to upgrade to these boots? More CDR and W. And going Sterix. Nice. What's our W max damage right now? Seven something. I don't know. I just readjusted down. Oh, I have to leave base first though. Uh, I'm just gonna wait on it. It's 25 gold. Chilling. Had some drink vision. When do you use Gore Drinker? Uh, ideally, the lower health you are. The more people that are around and the lower health that you are, the better. Because it gives you missing health. So right now it is 10%. So it restores 43 plus 10% of your missing HP for each champion hit. So ideally we hit as many champions as possible and we're as low as possible. That would give us the largest heal. Oh, the 1v1? Uh, it's not going to be able to. Ooh, give me that. Yo, he's still going though. Yo, he did it. What the hell? Okay. Ah, late. Beautiful. Crocodile man in mid lane. I'm gonna take this tower. Ooh. Almost. I, mean, I have a TP like all the way behind them. I'm just not sure if I can actually get to them. Oh baby, what the hell? Too bad my Q's not up. Man. So close. Q's barely getting away. I see you. Time to go. I can just back him item. Dragon's gonna be up in 20. Probably a mistake to uh, keep pushing here. Cause I don't have vision anywhere in this area. So they can really collapse on me pretty easily. Like I said, Dragon's coming up. I wanna get down there. I might actually have to teleport. Kind of late. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna clear this while I have time. I have time because this guy's in top lane and they're backing up from the dragon. So now I should be able to get over here. Graves just left. We can just pull that shit out and take it. Yeah, they can't even contest. Oh, yeah, definitely pull it away though. Cool. Works for me. I gotta go back top. Nice. Keep working toward our item. Beautiful. Did I upgrade my camera? Yeah, upgrade my camera and the mic. The mic, I just fixed all the settings, so it should sound good now. A little disappointing on that. I have to wait for him to do his first dash, otherwise it's not gonna work. But I have to like catch him during it. That was a little slow. Grandpa mechanics. Ooh. Moving. That looks kind of bad. I think this is okay. I can do any more here. Oof. That silence kind of sucked, man. I couldn't get my W off at the exact moment I wanted. If I got it a little bit earlier, I think I could have gotten it before she's on yes. And then she jumped away before I could get her with Gore Drinker. Time to go. I'll take it though. We got a nice ult there. That shit did a lot of damage. It's 425 plus 50% of the enemy's bonus health. So we grab Blitzcrank. 
who is relatively tanky. Ideally, we hit Renekton. I think it would have been better to grab Renekton there. I just Blitz was right there, so I felt like getting him was a little bit better. But uh, going Titanic next. I can just wait the thirty gold. Grab this. Let's go, baby. Feeling pretty good. The one two, the empowered one two. W's that big shield based on how much HP you got. Ease the grab. That guy's dead. E pulls from both sides, back and front. And if there's somebody on both sides, you'll stun. If there's not somebody on both sides, so just slow. And then R is obviously that bodice slam. Pretty straightforward champion, man. Run at people, punch them. Press your E to CC them. Press your W when you're low HP. Or slash, you can reply a lot of damage. I think we're losing tower. I still have TP to make plays on the map. Oh yeah. Might be able to fight this guy though. Bruh. The heck? Alright man. Dog. Why am I so fucking slow? What do you mean? I think we can actually win this. Thousand damage right there. Kite away. Buy some time. Nope. Slow to shit, dude. I do like no damage to Renekton. I don't understand why. <laughs> Strange. Set W. I think you mean feast. I mean basically a thousand sixty nine damage right now. And we're only on two items. As we get more and more, it just grows a lot. Dragon's coming up in forty. We're gonna be playing around that for sure. I mean, the, the Renekton is literally just trying to run away the entire time. It's not like we're fighting. He just dashes away one side. Strybreaker is waits, dashes away the other side. Strybreaker. Like, All right, dude. <laughs> I'll see you around. Ooh, yo, fight that. Got him, baby. Oh. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I was just like standing there punching people the whole time. That was great. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna go push bot. Got a ton of gold to spend here. Whew. Is everybody melee on my team? No. We have a range ADC. Their team, nah, but this guy is pretty short range. They're all basically melee though. Draven's range, obviously, but yeah. Seth's definitely gonna do well against heavy melee comps. Easier to punch people. You hit the tower. Oh God. Oh, Jesus. I have to go back after this, because they're going to go to Baron. Alright, what's after? BC, cool. BC actually got buffed this patch, too. I mean... Oh, are they not doing it? Do you have a ward? Kind of surprising to be honest. I think it'd be worth a shot. Um. Yeah. 
Easy peasy. Oh. Go, 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 go. We're all like body blocking each other. <laughs> How did I get that? <laughs> all right, I'll take it. Can we Baron? Uh, this guy's alive. I think we do it. Crocodile man's in bot lane. I do a ton of damage with Q. Might as well do that. Get some shielding. Nice. Looks good to me. Going. I definitely got hit by that. That was weird. <laughs> I'll take it though. I definitely got hit like way before I backed. Dude, I am very strong. W sitting for 1444. 4, 4. 1444 damage. Pretty damn good. I like it. Dragon in two minutes. I do have teleport. Team should probably stay grouped. I'm gonna go split. Look to make something happen. Try and drop wards. That's why I love blue trinket so much. I don't have to run all the way into this jungle to actually place that. That's the key. Nice. Get this pushed. I mean, I have to walk in there now because <laughs> I have to clear it. But I see everybody on the map, so it's fun. As they all disappear. They're all bots I admit, though. Lego right for tower. Pop this plating. Woo. Wow, the cannon died. I have to move. Oh, that was really good, actually. Yeah, I don't have to move at all. That works. Take this. Crocodile's trying to answer, but it's 1v4. That's why you split. We'll be both or get stuff done. Enemy makes a goofy choice. Come on, boys. I thought they would do way more damage. Uh, we can actually end here, huh? Eight seconds. Should be able to. Oh, yeah. You're coming with us! <laughs> oh shit. I love it. Very juicy. I mean, we'd get to like 2000 if we finished the Warmogs in BC. BC is like another 200 health from what we had, plus Warmogs would be another 800, so we get another 1000 health on our W. Well, 1000 health to amplify our W. Be pretty good. Juicy. Got to like 1500 damage W. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. This champion's so good though. Oh my god. You just run up the people and punch them. Pretty easy. Does Gordrick have more health on it than uh... It does. Okay. I was going to say, does it have more health on it than Strybreaker? Because if it doesn't, I feel like Strybreaker would still be the way to go. Strybreaker's just so fucking good, man. That dash is insane. Also, this was bad jet. Demol should have been way better. I thought it was going to be bad too. Just the, the way you use the proc, it just, it's not good. It's really good on stuff like Shen, who has like perma shield up time, like stuff like that that can like constantly repeat it. You know, Karma in top lane, if you're doing like a, you know, tank Karma build or something like that, just constantly getting that shield proc. Victor, another good example. Those are, those are the people that really shine with this. Not really your Tom Kench, not your set. Those are the people that get giant shields, but they, they don't really, get an often enough to apply tons of damage with this anyways gg what well hope you guys enjoyed that one make sure to tune in next time if you're watching more on youtube like the video subscribe for more content like this if you're watching the live stream follow gg well played thanks for watching peace